What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I wanted to make a quick video about emotional resilience, okay, and having thick skin in this game, okay? What does that mean? What does it mean to have emotional resilience, okay? I show this in lots of videos. This is the number of contacts that I have in my phone, okay? 12,636, okay? The number of closes is 1,274, okay? And so it's roughly about 10%. So at a high level, you can expect to close about 10% of the girls whose phone numbers you get, okay? Paul Janka, who is a New York City day game retired pickup artist, okay? He hit about 250 count. He told me that it's about 10% for him as well. I've confirmed this with other advanced guys. He's confirmed it with other advanced guys. But that's not what you hear on YouTube, okay? That's not what RSD and other fucking scam operations tell you. They tell you if your game is tight, you can get any girl, okay? If your game is tight, you can avoid flakes completely, okay? I, I've, uh, <laughs> I know guys that are like, I never get flakes. Flakes just don't happen. That's not, that's not even possible, okay? Things happen in people's schedules where they cannot make it. They physically cannot make it, okay? Um, so... You guys need to be having realistic expectations, okay? I talk to lots of clients all the time that, that think, oh, if I get a rejection, that means I'm not good enough. If I get a rejection, that confirms my negative beliefs about myself already, okay? Rejections are part of the game. There's no way around that. I've played a little game with advanced friends where when I get rejected, I send the advanced friend in and, and he gets rejected nine times out of 10 by the same girl and vice versa. When he's rejected, I go in, same thing happens. What does that mean? Some girls just don't want to talk to you some girls are in a bad mood. Some girls really have boyfriends, okay, and et cetera, et cetera. So stop expecting every person to like you. That's just not how, the, how it works, okay? It's, it's never going to be the case like that. But that doesn't mean that you suck. That doesn't mean that you're a loser, or that, that it verifies all the negative beliefs you have by yourself, okay? You should be walking around with the opinion of yourself that you are a very high-value guy. On a scale of 1 to 100, with 100 being your potential value, of course, always be a work in progress and be trying to become a greater version of yourself, but you need to be comfortable and solid and think that you are 100 out of 100. Okay, there's a brick wall, rejections and external events do not permeate that and you stay at 100 out of 100. Okay, I've already disproved in other videos the mistaken concept of state promulgated by RSD most uh, notoriously where they say if you get a bunch of rejections or bad things happen in the venue, okay, like doing cold approach, your state is going down, okay? So whereas you maybe, and they also have the mistaken concept of warming up. So they think maybe you come into the venue at like a 30 out of 100, okay? Then they advocate talking to fat girls and guys so that you can build your state. Now you're maybe at like a 70 or 80. This is their mistaken theory. Then you run into a string of rejections. You have this downward spiraling where they refer to as a state crash, okay? And now you're like, oh, look, my state is going down into like a 40 or a 30 again. And now I'm, I'm in a fucking... Uh, do bad with these girls and guess what it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy all you're doing by subscribing to the idea of state is putting on a self handicap which is limiting yourself which is retarded okay <clears throat> think of it this way if you walked into a car dealership and the guy said here we have this rusted piece of shit car there's a whole bunch of things broken on it and it doesn't really function and the windows are smashed out do you want to buy it right no one's going to want to buy that so when you don't believe in your own product you're marketing yourself when you don't believe in your own product when you don't believe that you bring a lot of value to the table, no girl is going to believe it either, okay? And you're gonna walk around just fulfilling, this is self-fulfilling prophecy, and you're just gonna keep reinforcing negative mindsets which are gonna give you a further negative opinion of yourself once they manifest in reality, okay? Instead, have more proper realistic expectations that yes, you're gonna run into rejections, yes, girls are gonna flake, yes, you know, whatever. Some girls aren't gonna close, some girls are gonna drop off rotation. That's all part of the game. That's what keeps it fun, okay? What I help clients do and what, and what my job is, is to maximize your probabilities, okay? So that I can give you the best chances with any particular stranger to get into a romantic and sexual relationship, okay? I can give you the best odds to get a date set with a phone number. I can give you the best odds of getting a close from every date that you have. I can give you the best odds of retaining any girl that you hook up with, okay? So the, the power of game is to maximize your probabilities and optimize what you can that's in your control. And then you just let the chips fall where they may, okay? It doesn't matter if this one particular girl works out or not, if you did all the right moves, okay? That's just how it works. Not, it's not always gonna come out 
uh, in your favor. I used to play professional poker and you need to look at every set. I'll make a separate video on this, but you need to look at every set in a vacuum, okay? Every interaction in a vacuum. If I made a move in poker that gave me an 85% chance and I bet a lot of money on that, rightfully so, and an opponent takes incorrectly the low odd move, okay, and, and comes in on the, on the pot for 15% odds, okay, and then he catches that 15%. A lot of players will mistakenly think, oh, I shouldn't have made that move, okay, because they're looking at it with hindsight bias and they're thinking, oh, that was a bad move to make, okay. No, given what the information that was at hand, okay, it's a game of incomplete information, given what you knew about the situation, you always want to make the 85% play every time. And 100 times, you're going to win 85 of those times, okay, so it has a long-term positive expected value in your favor. <clears throat> so you want to be making high probability moves and then letting the chips fall out where they made. None of these moves are going to give you a 100% lock on the game. That's not how it works. Okay, you're still going to have defeats. You're still going to have failures. But if you do the right stuff, you're going to very quickly have more girls than you even have time for. Okay, you're, you're, the dating life of your dreams is going to creep up on you in a matter of a couple of weeks. And that's what I'm doing for guys in my eight-week mentorship program. Okay, if you have any interest in that, if you'd like to skyrocket to an advanced or elite level within a matter of a few short weeks, okay, that's a two-month program, but guys are typically smashing it up in the first couple weeks and accomplishing their goals and having more girls they can handle before they're even halfway through, okay, before they even start the second month. Click the link in the description. We will go over on a free 30-minute call how we can help you. We'll diagnose your game, show you a roadmap to success, okay, and we will fix it for you very quickly and give you a very good problem to have, which is not having enough time for all the girls. Okay, so have realistic expectations. Know that even at the highest level, okay, I consider myself the best cold approach pickup artist that exists. Okay, and I have all the landslides of proof to back that up. The next best guys I know in the game with real counts are not even up to half my lay count yet. Okay, they're close to half, but not, not quite. So, <clears throat> that being said, um, at a very high level, you're only going to close 10% of the numbers. Okay. So stop trying to think that every girl's going to be receptive. Stop trying to think that every girl's going to close, every girl's going to meet up and everything like that, okay? All you can do is maximize things, maximize the probabilities, optimize things in your favor, okay? Book that call, jump on, um, free, no obligation, and I will let you know what I can do for you. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you on the next video. I'm about to head to the beach and record more videos for the week over there, okay? So stay tuned during the week, and I will see you then. Also, there's a surprise roast coming towards the end of the week. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.